And the Second Amendment is a is a beautiful godsend that the United States, that we we the people need to defend very, very staunchly because that's what's keeping us free. I'm, I, I mean that. Like that's yeah. that is absolutely important that we defend that. So, well, speaking of the Second Amendment, I wasn't going to throw this in, but you know, we have a, a congressman in our 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 district up here in Indiana, and he actually voted for an assault weapons ban. And so it's it's semi-automatic weapons ban. It's like, well, everything is semi-automatic. That's right. It, I mean, not everything, but you know what I mean, you know. Well, this is that your is that Congressman uh, Frank Mervan, the Democrat from Frank Mervan. Yeah, yeah. Well, see, Democrats they just don't know guns. I mean, they they think guns are scary, and they think guns will just shoot people on their own, right? They don't. Yeah. They don't understand guns, and so they say assault weapons ban or assault style. It's like every gun yeah. assault, is an assault style, like. You use a gun to assault somebody that need that that you believe needs to be assaulted, right? Like if somebody's coming into your house to hurt you and your family, you're going to assault them back, right? And yeah. uh, and then you know, semi-automatic. To your point is like, okay, well, that's pretty much everything, right? Like outside yeah, of knives. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, and then we're gonna start banning knives now. Next, I mean, listen, right. a truck. A tr- I've seen people over the last uh, three or four years do mass killings with trucks, like driving them through parades. Do we ban trucks? It's not it's not the tool. It's the heart of the person. We need to make sure that when evildoers do evil things, there's 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 strong, swift repercussions that mm-hmm. I don't know if you saw it at CPAC just a couple of days ago. The president of, of uh, 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 El Salvador uh, was there. He spoke and um, oh, wow. they he created the the world's most awful prison. And now, granted, it was a human human rights violation. Okay, so I'm not saying that we should go this far, but what I am saying, yeah, is, yeah, a little far, a point, but... right? It was if anyone had an MS-13 tattoo and they were caught, they were thrown into this prison, and this prison was like one of the worst places on earth. You did not want to go there. Um, but he did it. They were having so much crime, so much panic in the streets. When he got to mm-hmm. power, he created the worst prison this world has ever seen. And he threw bad guys into the prison, and. Uh, in a matter of just a few short years, El Salvador has has virtually eliminated crime from their streets because bad people fear getting caught when they're doing mm-hmm. bad things because there's a government that's willing to carry out justice swiftly and forcefully. And we don't have that in America anymore. I mean, no. you see more. You, you, I mean, these illegal immigrants that do that commit crime in our nation now are getting credit cards with ten thousand dollars on them and just saying, "Hey, here's ten thousand dollars. You're free to go." Like. What is this? And again, we're very broken because we walked away from godly standards. And God says, mm-hmm. if you shed man's blood, blood, by man's hand will your blood be, be shed. God, God is the one who gave us the death penalty for evil deeds. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing because it keeps society safe. So, so again, this is, you know, it's getting away from godly standards on how government should act. And uh, we've gotten away from it. And then we ask, why is everything falling apart? It's like, well... You kick the author of good out of everything, and there is no good left.